Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Chestnut Evo, which is an AI trainable chessboard. It also has an Android tablet 12.3 inch on the side, so you can use it without actually having to rely on a computer or a tablet. It has a Stockfish, Maya, and Lida Chess Zero. One neat thing about this board is that you can actually go and train your engine, and you're going to need about 20 games to use it. You can also go and download engines and once you do that if you go to Lila Chess Zero and the weight section you can see the engines that I've downloaded here now in this video I'm going to show it against this little chess computer that I found a while back I haven't actually had a chance to cover this on the channel it's a peg sensory board and it's again another one of those Kasparov chess computers these were made in a bunch of designs this is where you can actually put, put your pieces. These pieces are pretty tiny, so you want to be careful not to lose them by accident. So this board is pretty compact. You can take it with you anywhere. It is advertised at 2080. Obviously it's a little bit weaker, which is the case with most chess computers. You can change level, verify position, take back all those things are available here. With these buttons you can also use them for promotion for instance if you get a queen you just press that for this board you have to put three AA batteries in there and then you hear a beep and it's ready to go now you can actually choose a level the display is not easily readable so there is that but this is a pretty old one and you can actually enter the moves like that so you can actually see the moves here and even if your display ends up like me and it's not easily readable you have that option i'm using a starfish here gonna give it a little bit of time lots of increments so i can actually enter the moves 15 seconds per move i'm assuming it's usually a standard with all these boards they they use the same kind of format uh, even though there are slight differences from board to board but this is l15 shows you where to move the pieces so you don't really need a display G8 F6 D7 D5 D5 E4 If we get close enough we can actually see the move
F8, D6. H6, H4. Bad things are gonna happen here now. Position really is resignable at this point, but these boards usually go all the way. So this is checkmate. Also shows it on display. It was an interesting game. I don't know if I expected more. Even though this is rated 2080, it that's advertised. That's if you give it a lot of time and with the stockfish being a thousand over 1200 points is stronger. I don't think you can expect it to play much better. It's an interesting chess computer from a while back. It's pretty compact, so you can take it with you anywhere and you don't need an adapter or anything like that. But the pieces for me are just too small. That's the main problem I have with these boards. Some people like them. For me, I just need a big board or something like this at least. So I can actually see the pieces and get a better look at the board and be able to actually calculate where some people don't care they can do it on a small board or a big board for more information please go to gadgetify.com also youtube.com at gadgetify if you like this video please like and subscribe also have a chess playlist that you may want to check out thanks for watching